good afternoon everyone. Welcome to a brand new series of videos. Uh, now I, can, I know you can all see Rod here. For anyone who doesn't know Rod, Rod is our, our club matching handicap secretary. Now don't panic, Rod won't be giving you any golf advice, but he will be giving you some rulings. So we've come up with this idea to create a series of videos over the winter period called Rod's Rules. Each week we're going to come out and we're going to document one classic rule which we would more, well, we more often than not would be asked in the pro shop hopefully give you guys a little bit more of an idea of what to do when you get you find yourself in the positions such as we're going to explain today so first of all thank you Rod for uh, coming on to give us some advice um, the very first ruling I thought we would do is what to do when we found our golf ball on the path so we've come out to the 14th hole which is a, a, one, a certainly one hole where this rule uh, does apply quite often so first of all Rod over to you what do we do in this situation? Okay, hello everybody. As Joey said, we're playing the 14 full. We have teed off from tee box, and my ball has come to rest here on the cart path. Obviously, you are permitted relief from the cart path, so the first thing we need to do is obviously take your ball and find your nearest point of relief. This must be no nearer the hole. So, our nearest point of relief, therefore, will become here and then from this position we'll address the ball and from here we then mark this area our reference point and then from that area there from that reference point we are permitted one club length in which we're allowed to drop the ball so there's the club length and there is the other marker so now what I must do is obviously no nearer the hole is the key when it comes to relief. I must now drop my ball in between those two reference points. And I'm now going to do that, and this must be taken below the knee. So I'm going to drop the ball. My ball's now in play. That's the correct way to do it. However, Joey is in a similar situation, but he is, as you can see, on this side of the car park. And this is where some people get this rule very badly mixed up. So we'll explain to you what we do when your ball comes to rest on this side of the path. So uh, yes, very well said. Obviously, nearest point of relief is, is the key here. Uh, under no circumstance with this ball being closer to this side of the path, should it be taken to the other side. So again, if I apply the same logic as what uh, Rod has just explained, I would take my stance this side of the path okay and where the club would sit that would now be the reference point i would start with i would mark here i now get one club length again no nearer the hole make sure we don't go this way because that would put us toward the hole make sure you get it no further uh no closer to the hole pop another tee here that is now my designated drop area again Fly in the same rule which Rod just explained. When I drop the ball, I need to make sure I drop that ball below the knee. That ball is now in play. I can move the tees and play my shot. Um, so yes, I hope that ruling helps you guys, uh, and I hope that clears things up for you next time you find yourself on a path on any of the holes in any golf course for that matter. Um, next week, Rod and I are going to explain a different rule. Uh, like I said, a, a common. Um, situation which we always get asked about and hopefully that'll clear things up again for you but until then thank you and uh, thanks again Rod for coming on it's a pleasure Bye Bye for now. Now.